Hey everybody, Chris here, coming to show you some more yard sale finds, a little bit of thrift store, no flea market. Uh, it's short one this week, uh, some okay yard sales on Saturday and not too much on Sunday. Again, as I mentioned in the past two videos, my band has a Kickstarter going right now. Really awesome if uh, anyone here would pledge uh, if you like our music, that'd be awesome. If you just want to help support me and um, show some support for all the info I've given you in these videos over the past uh, year or so, uh, that'd be awesome as well. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. So um, as I said, not too much. I'll just start over here. Got an Atari 2600, the four switch wood grain. I paid $30 for that. Came with a stack of games and some manuals. Uh, came with a few Nintendo things, but they said they didn't have it. Uh, Contra manuals always great. Also came with a mess of wires, which is a, those, I think it's like four or five controllers for Atari, and then there's five or six PlayStation controllers. I got the PlayStation stuff at another yard sale for $30. Came with a bunch of Xbox, PlayStation, Sega games. We'll go through that in a bit. Um, back there I got Risk Lord of the Rings, got that for $2 at the yard sale, it's the Trilogy Edition, they usually sell that for about $35 right now. Got a Tekken 6 arcade stick for Xbox 360, uh, this goes anywhere from like $35 to $100, um, hoping to get, you know, I'll probably aim for about $70 or $80 on that. Got a couple Polaroids, I paid $16, came with a, came with a bunch of film, uh, two of them, or three of them are sealed, one of them's open. Um, hoping to, I'm gonna get at least, I don't know, probably like 40, 50 bucks on the film. Uh, it is expired by quite a while, um, uh, but people do buy it. Um, and the films, like the cameras, I got a business edition and a One Step Express green in the box. Um, also got another camera, got an Argus C3 at another yard sale, I think I paid $2.00. Um, in the past, I've sold them anywhere from fifty to eighty. Um, I'm not. I'm not even sure what they're going for right now. Um, got a couple chargers. I paid a dollar for this plus a uh, risk on um, yeah, risk for PlayStation. Paid a dollar for that at one yard sale, and I paid four bucks at Savers for the other charger. Um, it's summer, so I'm going to end up buying a lot of DS's without chargers, because it happens every year. So it's always good to pick them up. Um, an example is I got this Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance SP. It didn't come with a charger, so I'm going to need a charger for that. But anyway, uh, I got these two at another yard sale for $10 together. Um, probably get about $25, $30 for this one, get about $45 for this one. Um, Sony Micro... Voice recorder. I think I got that at Goodwill Outlet. Got a bunch of empty CD cases as well. Um, this one goes for over fifty bucks usually. Um, I uh, I think that's it really. Uh, besides all the games, so um, I'll just go through them. Uh, Twisted Metal Black. Um, these all came with the PlayStation to uh, the regular PlayStations. Sphinx. Uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Chamber of Secrets. Finding Nemo. Jedi Power Battles, and Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Um, now the reason I paid 30 for this was it came with a lot of Call of Duty games. I already sold Black Ops and I already sold Modern Warfare 2. But it also came with a lot of empty cases. Some back there, and it's like uh, 7 or 8 empty cases. Which uh, I didn't notice at the time, but I talked him down a lot. and uh, It still worked out well for me. So Call of Duty World at War. Uh, Ace Combat, NHL 09, Grand Theft Auto 4. I already sold the more valuable games. Um, these two actually got another the yard sale for $2. Plants vs. Zombies for DS and Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. These are both about uh, $8, $9 games. Um, Call of Duty 4, NBA 2K9, Metal Gear Solid 2, Max Payne, Madden 07, Madden 08, Rainbow Six Vegas, Gears of War, FIFA 06. Um, this this stack I'm not even really gonna bother naming. It's just it's a bunch of sports games. Uh, it's nothing of value. Um, I think also Jeopardy. Um, those I might try to lot together. Um, I've never done that before. 
and just sell it. There's a lot on eBay, see how that goes. Because um, in general, they're not really worth anything. And then uh, I'll get to the Atari games. Um, so I got baseball, Burger Time, which is a good one to look out for as far as Atari goes. It's about $12, $15. Uh, Smurf, Combat, Frogger, which is another one you uh, always want to look out for. It's about 10 bucks usually. Pac-Man, uh, Math Grand Prix, Pong Sports, um, Encounter at L5, which I'd never heard of and was hoping it was valuable, but it's not. Uh, Night Driver, Brain Games, Air Sea Battle, Concentration, Asteroids, and Codebreaker. And that's it. Um, so yeah, n nothing too crazy. Um, next weekend, uh, hopefully hit the yard sales pretty well. I'm still in the middle of kind of this whole moving thing, so I'm not trying to bring in too much at once. But uh, yeah, so uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. Again, I know uh, some of you guys are probably sick of it, but if you could... If you could pledge to my band's Kickstarter, I'd be super appreciative. So, um, yeah. Bye, everybody.